why are we walking around like we're defeated? Why are we walking around giving more praise to the evil than we are to the one God? You are a natural born public speaker and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do about it? What to press me? Just saying. It's on the CRT stuff BS. Good evening, yet, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you guys, our next speaker, he could headline any event, I'm telling you. And once you've heard him, you'll understand what I mean. He's known as the modern renaissance man. Yeah, if you guys saw that YouTube, and I think it went out, TikTok, when he went out there, critical race theory. He's been on the Candace Owens show. He's the weekend host on Cities 92.9 News and Talk in Bloomington and Normal. He's a husband, he has two sons, 19 and 17. He's a director of a rehab, of a lead medical contractor, and, and, and he wanted me to say this, an evangelist at Christ Tabernacle in Decatur, Illinois. He, he's gonna be having a TEDx talk in October, so Ty, we'll be more than, we'll make sure we look out for that. Ladies and gentlemen, the modern renaissance man, Ty Smith. Test it, test it. Did you guys hear me? Can y'all hear me? How are y'all doing, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ? How are y'all doing, my fellow Americans? If you love America and what it stands for, stand up and let's make some noise for America. I don't care like a basketball. Stop it. Stop. Bleachers. Stop. Come on, make some noise. And we got an issue. We should be able to make more noise than the evil that's coming against us right now. I love America. I love the United States of America. I love its freedoms. I love everything that it stands for. And I'll be darned if I'm going to sit back and just let it go to waste. I'll be darned if I'm going to sit back and just let it be taken from us. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not been seeing what's going on in the world lately, I guess you're just blind to everything. But there's something I gotta tell you guys. Right now, the things that we see going on, let me take y'all back a little bit. Where I come from, from the streets, from the ghetto, from the hood, we call that, they're calling us out. That's exactly what's going on. We are being called out. And who am I talking about? The people of God is being called out by the evil. That's exactly what's going on. Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the light. And the very thing that's been attacked right now is the way, the truth, and the light. But one thing that we got to understand is this. You have to understand this. We always hear that they say that there's a battle between good and evil. And if you stand up for what's good, have you read in that Bible, show me one time where God lost. Can anybody show me where one time where he lost? Can you show me that? And if you know that you are on the winning side, then why are we walking around like we're defeated? Why are we walking around giving more praise to the evil than we are to the one God? Huh? This is a serious question. I'm not just saying it just to get y'all pumped up. I really want you to take this in and think about it because this is my life. This is how I live this. I know what saved me. And that power to save me is the very same power right now that's allowing me to go around and speak and cast out that evil. The evil knows that it cannot win. But if it can trick you into thinking that you can't, you're going to be defeated. You cannot walk around in defeat. One thing about me, as an athlete, very competitive. I absolutely hated losing. I played basketball and I ran track. Track is what got me into scholarship. I was breaking records all left and right in Decatur, Illinois. One thing that I did when I played basketball, I hated something that some of our teammates did. We getting ready to play against a team, right? Some of my teammates, oh man, man, look at them dudes, man. They got some tall guys, man. Oh my God, man, look at them dudes' calf muscles. Hey man, doing warm as a guy just dunked the best, man. We about to get our bus whooped. This is what they do on the basketball team, and guess what happened when we went out there and we played against this team? We got whooped, we got whooped right? After some time, because I'm so competitive. Here we go again, get ready to go against this team. Man, look out, uh, hey, uh, time out, uh-uh, 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 bro, you gotta be quiet. 
There is nothing. Quit talking about how good they are and how big and bad they are. What about us? What about us? How big and bad are we? If you're going to come in here and keep on talking about how bad and big the enemy is, I don't want to hear it. Go somewhere else. Go sit out there to bleach with the crowd. Because every time you get to talking like that, you instantly set us up for defeat. And what I'm saying, people of God, is this. That's the type of talk that I'm hearing. I'm hearing more talk about the enemy and how big the bad the enemy is versus how big and bad this God is. This God that has never lost. And that's all he's waiting on. He's waiting on us to get on the winning team. God never loses. Never loses. So what happened? Coach, you got to kick these three guys off the team. They are the reason why we're losing. Because they talk about how bad and big the enemy is so much that it ends up getting into the whole team and everybody goes out there and you can just see it all over our body language. We get out there, we just, oh man, we getting ready to get beat and we got beat. After that, I started going back in the, hey y'all, look, this is over. I don't care how big and bad these dudes are. Look, man, let's bring it to these guys. We go out there, we started winning and beating teams left and right all because of encouraging words that we can do it. But again, you have to understand that you are on a winning side. You have to understand that. There is no more sitting back, ladies and gentlemen. Have y'all read that Bible? Have you read that Bible? Have you not seen in there those battles and stuff that they went through? Did it seem like the people of God were cowards? Oh, we're just going to sit back and just, Lord Jesus. No, bring it to them. I'm going to bring it right back to you. Well, I thought Christian, well, you ran into the wrong Christian. Those Christians in the Bible, hey, I'm telling you, those Christians in the Bible, they battled. We read these stories about David. We read these stories about Abraham. We read these, all these awesome stories that they did. Well, what about the story that you're going to be? What are you going to do whenever it comes to the day when your grandchildren or your great-grandchildren or your current children right now are going to say, when they were trying to take over of us, what were we doing? Dad, Mom, were you standing up? Cousins, were y'all standing up? Were y'all fighting back against this evil? Or were we sitting back and cowering? Because the Bible that I read does not show no cowering Christians. And I definitely am not one of them. So what am I saying? Whenever that evil comes and challenges you, when it tries to challenge you and say, you can't say anything because you're white, you can't say that black people. BS. Truth knows no color. Tell the truth. It knows no color. Absolutely no color. I don't care if it's the Black Lives Matter. I don't care if it's the NAACP. If it's the truth, tell the truth and do not be scared because you are standing on the power of God. God is truth and truth knows no color. Do not let them get in your head about that. Don't feel like you cannot say anything. As long as it's the truth, it will remain the truth. Plain and simple. So how many of y'all are tired of losing? Ah, see? Listen, if they're videoing this right now, if you can go out there and see the enemy them all marching in the street, beating their drums, making all that noise, and here we are looking at them do that, but then I ask us, how many of us are tired of losing? Woo -hoo. <laughs> that, that, now see what I'm saying? Does that look like we're actually tired of losing? Do we, are you tired of losing? That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of attitude you gotta have. That's the type of energy you gotta bring. That's the kind of mindset you have to be in because right now, with the enemy bringing this to us, the enemy even knows. The enemy knows that light cast out darkness. The enemy knows that. It knows that light casted out darkness. You have to be the light. And when you realize the power of God that's behind you, you will see that it's not even a fight. Right now, they are so threatened by me because I came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, I'm planted here by the GOP party. I'm Candace Owens' brother, and I'm a paid actor out of Montana. That's how scared they are. They try to pull up a track record on me. Well, we got to get something on this guy. He got something in his background. Oh, oh, he punched a kid in the fourth grade. I am a threat to them. This guy can't be thinking on his own. I'm this old white man. This is the type of stuff that I'm getting, but here's the thing. I had a huge lashing out from what they call my community. Guess what happened? I spoke amongst a lot of black folks that actually came at me in a particular way. It does not matter because guess what? My community is God's people, which there is no colors. So don't tell me about my community. I'm talking about my people. That's God's people. White, black, Asian, Indian, whatever it may be. If you are in that kingdom, then you are my brothers and sisters. And if you are my brothers and sisters, then in this war, we have to fight and we cannot cower. You cannot cower. You cannot let our country go to waste. This is the last thing we'll leave you with. The Bible clearly says this. And if you don't know this, it's something that can be slipped. It said when Jesus died on the cross, it said he defeated the enemy the devil at the cross. The devil is defeated, but you have been tricked into thinking that he has all power. 
It says, give no place to the devil. Give no place to the devil. The devil is all evil. Give no place to evil. So when I hear people say to me, they're taking away our freedoms, I stop them. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not taking away anything. Y'all know what's wrong? We're giving it. Give no place to the devil. Give no place to evil. We are giving it up. Stop giving it up and keep fighting for what America stands for. America has always been a fighting country and America should always remain a fighting country. And if you are going to be an American, a real American, show them that we are not giving up and we will fight. They got a battle on their hands. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you all. What is going on folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first though, right? Then you're gonna click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? Let people